The government says red shirt media are divisive, spread lies, and urged followers to commit violence during two months of protests in Bangkok. The protests ended in a military crackdown last month. The government is shutting down red shirt websites, newspapers, and broadcast stations. Government spokesman Panatan Watanayagorn says red shirt broadcasters threaten national security. At one point, they just announced uh, for their viewers to capture Prime Minister's wife and Prime Minister's children and kill them. At one point, they also announced that if Prime Minister travel to a provincial places, they'll just kill him. And this is certainly cannot be allowed in any country, in a democratic, democratic country at least. Staff at the We Love Udon radio station managed to hide their transmitter before soldiers stormed in and broke their equipment. Two announcers and the station's head were arrested. The station head, like many protest leaders, has been charged with terrorism and, if found guilty, could be sentenced to death. His wife, Apon Salakam, denies the charges and says the authorities are trying to intimidate their opponents. She says while they have been shut down, radio and TV stations opposed to the protesters are still allowed to operate. She says this is unfair. The red shirts have long complained that the government uses double standards and ignores media outlets run by so-called yellow shirts, who led protests in 2008 to oust red shirt supported governments. Yellow shirt supporter Jaran Mukajonpan runs the People's Alliance for Democracy radio station in Udon Thani. He says his station is threatened more by funding and electrical problems than the authorities. He says We Love Udon Radio should have been shut down a long time ago, and he established his station in the Red Shirt's heartland to struggle against irresponsible media. So we think that if we, if we still uh, stay still with nothing to explain, uh, to retaliate to the station that tell a lie to the people, and then it's, go it's, it's, go it's going to be uh, what we call disaster for Thai society in the future. Some Thais are worried about censorship. This Udon Thani resident supports the red shirts and says the government has made many accusations against them but presented little proof. He says censoring the media is bad and a sign of dictatorship. He says red media should be free to protest. The government says it will allow red media to operate once normalcy is restored to the country and media regulations are reformed to better prevent abuses. Daniel Scharf, VOA News, Udon Thani.